what's on your grill this summer for the UCP government it's a cash cow that they've long had their sights on photo radar in Alberta Specifically, the province plans to remove as many as 2,200 photo enforcement locations, leaving just 200 across Alberta. The pledge was made by the Transportation Minister in a Friday newspaper column. In what might be the quote of the summer, Devin Dreeshen told Post Media he's happy to say the cash cow is going to be on the barbecue this summer. The minister says municipalities will have to show each photo radar location is for safety or it'll be banned. I think the photo radar is really just it's a money grab. If you're speeding, you're putting not only your life, but everybody else's life in danger, and you deserve the ticket. Last year, Edmonton placed 35 photo enforcement vehicles at 422 sites, giving drivers 135,000 tickets. The city also has 60 intersection or red light cameras, which issued another 280,000 violations. Removing photo radar takes money out of city budgets. In Edmonton, it generates about 30 million a year. Some leaders also claim removing cameras will make the streets more dangerous. There's been numerous peer-reviewed studies that show photo radar does make streets safer, just like enforcement makes streets safer. Having more police out, knowing that you could get a ticket, does contribute to safe driving. This city councillor wants more, not less, photo enforcement to crack down on illegal parking and loud vehicles. If we could have a 24-7, 365 noise monitoring camera, that would allow us to do deal with dangerous drivers, speed racing and other pieces. 26 municipalities across Alberta have photo radar generating about 170 million a year. Dreeshen says the tool is more prolific in the Wild Rose province than in any other. He feels cities and towns are using it to, in his words, pad their pockets. In 2019, the UCP capped photo radar equipment and locations and last year banned it on the Anthony Hende Ring Road. Dreeshen says he plans to meet with local leaders next week to discuss photo radar. A long-term plan is due by December. Reporting from South Edmonton, Sean Amato, City News.